It's been Beasley putting the pressure on, and Beasley has had the hustle. So perhaps Randy has something up his sleeve, and he's not wearing one. Well, he has five rounds behind him. Golden opportunity with the Beasley's right eye essentially closed. Yeah, but you know, and he could throw the left hook. He could nail that eye every time. But what he's having trouble with is this straight right hand from Beasley. Watch, watch Beasley connect with this punch over right over the top of Williams' left jab. When you're slow with a jab, you drag it back a little bit. Your opponent sees that, and he goes right over the top of it. Also, look at where Randy carries that left hand. You know, there it is, kaboom, right on it. See the, the right hand in front of the face? A lot of fighters get in this habit. The right hand in front of the face and the left hand down low. Leaving the left side of their face unprotected. Bombing away is Randy yeah. Williams. That is something that... Bombing away at the head, too. Yeah. You've got to go down to the body with a fighter like Beasley. He's too good upstairs. He'll move his head too much. He puts it in and takes it out. He's too smart. He doesn't like to remember what he said. Hit and not be hit. Williams logo slogan is be hit and not hit. <laughs> so far. Guess what Joe looks like when he really, uh, took Randy Williams apart. Those uh, wide punches missing and the looks he cracked right up the middle with the short sweet shots. Well, they were asking Williams between rounds, Doral Sims saying, you got to give me more left hooks. You have to throw it. He's apprehensive with that left hook. Every time he reaches with the left, see the, see the eye? See his eye is black. Randy Williams has Under the discoloration left eye, yeah. and a little bit of swelling on that left eye. That's because he's taking so many right hands. And he's glove shy with the left. Three in a row, hoaxed by Beasley, but doing the, the damage to that spot yeah. again underneath the left eye of Randy Williams. And he's the one that is thinking, look at these punches, look at these different looks. Very awkward, very unusual, he likes that. But Beasley runs into a right Wait. hand from Randy Williams. But they want the left hook, too. However, the right hand could set up that left hook. Inside 10 seconds in the sixth round, this is scheduled for 10. Both fighters have gone 10 rounds or more on several occasions. Here comes a whole new taste breakthrough. It's got less fat and better taste for you. Playmates are fun. Playmates are wild. And playmates are waiting to talk to you at the playground. Call now and reach our beautiful playmates at 1 800 825 Play. We're waiting for you. Come out and play. Call now 1 800 825 Play. From 250 to $3.99 per minute, no credit card needed. You must be over 18. Crowd settled in at the Palace of Auburn Hills, enjoying this one that moves into round number seven. Their local hero, Lonnie Beasley, in the black trunks. 21-1-1 and one is his record with seven knockouts. 28-year-old Beasley against the 25-year-old Randy Williams in the green trunks from Greenville, Mississippi. He's 23-5 and five with 15 knockouts. And as we go into the corner of Randy Williams after the last round, it sounds as if Doyle Sims is basically reiterating everything Sean has had to say. Uh, this fight, you can win this fight, Randy. You've got to put it together, son. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't. You can put it together. Don't, I don't want to hear you crying. Put it together. You got to fire the What's on it? What's on it? What's on the eye? You get, start doing it. Don't quit worrying about the head. Go to the body and come up to the head. The body's there. Okay. Okay. Put your punch. You got to put the punches together, though, son. This is why Lonnie Beasley loves to be awkward. You see the frustration, frustration in the voice and written all over the face of Randy Williams. Williams is beat mentally, and in boxing, if you can beat your opponent mentally, the tough job is over. All you have to do is go out there and beat him physically. There is the left hook again. 
again and again. Good. You know, if you can listen to the corner, look at those working. Sometimes they don't feel right. It doesn't, you, you think it's not going to work. You go out there and try it, and it works a couple of times. Then you go, hey, maybe this is going to work. I think I'll use that some more. The right eye has been swelled up. They've done a great job over in the corner of BZ putting ice on that, trying to take the swelling out, putting that in-swell on there. Beasley thumbed early in the first uh, 30 seconds of the fourth round. And had a fight the fourth round with the eye completely closed. Yes, and you have to agitate it. When you see something like that that is in your favor, you have to go in there and you got to pick at it a little bit. you got to let it fester up. It's not going to happen unless you do it, unless you make it happen. Joel Sims said, you can win this fight, Randy. Yeah, he would certainly have to go out there with an effort to, to win it. And you have to use what you have in a match. Right now, that is his left hook. Uh, but he's having all kinds of trouble with this. Look at this movement. Beasley gets on the side of you, he gets behind you, he wraps around you, he gives you a different look, he puts it in, takes it away. And we will pause for a word from your local cable systems. You're watching USA's. Tuesday night fights. It's late. Do you need someone to talk with? Somebody who's exciting and fun. Who will talk about anything you like. And keep everything you say a secret. Call 1-800-468-STUFF. 250 to $399 per minute. Adults over 18. Pick up the phone. You know what to do. Shopping in malls today can be dangerous. Angry crowds, parking lot madness, and thieves waiting to prey on unsuspecting victims. Now, shoppers don't have to subject themselves to the horrors of shopping. With Home Shopping Club, they can shop from the convenience of their homes, and they can shop 24 hours a day, feeling comfortable about every purchase they make. Members feel secure shopping with the club, as it delivers the best quality merchandise right to their living room. So protect yourself from the unexpected. Shop safely. Shop with the club. Barton Cablevision celebrates Black History Month. Selected eight times to the Pro Bowl and elected to the Football Hall of Fame, Art Shell was named the first black head coach in modern National Football League history in 1989 for the Los Angeles Raiders. Reward yourself with the knowledge of black history brought to you by Mr. Alan Shields. Now, gym shoes or boots are $29.88 or get two pairs for $50. In the spotlight tonight in our main event, former world champion Tony Tubbs uh, tries to get through the gateway to the heavyweight division. Bigfoot Martin is coming up uh, later tonight. Also, we'll have a conversation with heavyweight champion of the world, Evander Holyfield, and his challenger, Michael Moore. They're set to fight in April in Las Vegas for the heavyweight crown. Both in attendance here tonight. Right here, it's round number eight, Lonnie Beasley. In the black trunks, might even be pitching the shutout against Randy Williams, who uh, once again hears it from Doyle Sims in the corner, urging him to pick up the pace. Oh, and it Beasley rips through, especially with that left hand, and now loading up is Lonnie Beasley. Good punches from Lonnie. And he does. Lonnie Beasley finding a willing opponent here tonight in Randy Williams. Williams having some opportunities, but not taking advantage. One minute gone in the eighth round. Beasley 21-1-1. And, and fighting out of uh, Detroit, stable mate of James Tony. And Beasley uh, with a slip that's waved off by Tom Paraskiewicz, who is uh, always right on top of things. Halfway through round number eight. Randy Williams now talking to Beasley. And, and Williams is staying just at the wrong distance. He's staying right on the, the end of the long reach of Beasley. Two years ago, Beasley signed on with uh, manager Jackie Callum. 
So since that time, in 1992, he was 5-0-1. In 93, he fought five more times, undefeated, including some tough wins over Tony Marshall. He was 13-2 at the time. He had a very close decision over a hot prospect, Emmett Linton, who was 17-0 with eight knockouts. And in his first fight in 94, with the big upset over Charles Brewer. So, uh, Tony Beasley doing some nice things. He takes his, as I said it earlier, he takes his career very serious. Five fights in the last year. That fight with Emmett Linton that you talked about, he said that is the style most like Randy Wilden. He said in that fight with Linton, I out-hustled him, and I intend on out-hustling Williams tonight. And so far...